lot of I want you to meet some happy people. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! You're a photo bomb and you know it. <laughs> These three like to celebrate each other's victories. Even their dogs are excited. Good boy. Why so happy? Well, Katie here. Uh, I went back to school, and I recently in May graduated with a bachelor's in social work. Her future's so bright, she's got to wear shades. She just landed a new job, and Tony is rocking it, too. Sure, yeah, so I uh, I work as the head assistive technology instructor. And Kelsey, she's finishing up college. <laughs> Good stuff, happy dogs, and happy people. It's a picture of joy that these three, okay. they can't see. My name is Tony Gebhard, and I've been uh, dealing with the visual impairment all my life. Uh, I'm 27 now. Hi, my name is Katie Lester. I'm 38 and I've recently lost my vision or at least been notified about it in 2017. I'm Kelsey Talent, 27 years old, and I was born with bilateral congenital glaucoma. Their vision lost or severely limited, but the trio, they do see eye to eye on one unifying vision, the Alaska Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. It really made a huge difference. They really supported and really worked with me. They're here all the time and it's just amazing. Like For people to feel like that they matter, that they have a voice that they can utilize to change, to change the way we look at people with disabilities. It's their insight right? about their lack of sight that is a picture they'd like the sighted world to see. The overlooking, the assumptions. I would like sighted people to know how much time and energy it takes to try and fit into the sighted world. Assuming that because you have a disability, you can't not do something. And it's not easy in the dark and the dark places the mind can go. I was never to the point of suicide, but I was definitely high on the depression. And not I've dealt with my fair share of suicidal tendencies and you know, the feeling of heartache and, you know, drug abuse at one point in time. But there is hope. And this center that they can't see gives them the one thing that no one can take away. Yeah. <laughs> Unconditional love. And that... Or as my choir director in high school, you would always say, you're not handicapped, you're handicapped. And I love that. The All Good News.